kind of love in here. Um, we're playing Soma. Pretty scary Soma. It's fun to be able to send and Umbra, Overture of Umbra, all those. Basically, uh, it's a sci fi type game, which I really don't like sci fi shit, but apparently this is really spooky, so I'm interested enough to try it out. I do have a webcam in the corner, and uh, I'm doing that because I'm a corporate whore. No, I'm, I don't know, I'm just doing it because I thought that it might help. Uh, I have a lamp in the corner, trying to give up a little bit of light. But as you can see, I should just turn off the lamp. The room is rather dark, so it'll be maximum spooks. I have my band cam window to the corner, trying to figure out how long I'm recording for instead of having to set up a timer on my freaking Wii U or my tablet or any of this stuff over here. Uh, I use that when you start believing in it. Are you okay, Simon? Yeah, I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, okay. see you soon. Uh, before you have like a CAT scan or I don't know, but I know I had it when I had a CAT scan, but uh, when, before you have a CAT scan, or I think x-rays as well, yeah, yeah, with x-rays as well, I don't know if it's with CAT scans, actually, now that I think about it, but like, I had some problems with my stomach when I was, like, and they make you drink this nasty shit that's like Pepto-Bismol from hell. Where did I put the tracer fluid? It's not here. Tracer fluid, where are you? Shut up, Simon. That's what I'm doing. Let me have my fun, and then we can look for your tracer fluids. And then, where was that fork? Oh, fork. Spoon, actually. Just looks like a fork. Maybe it's a fork, and I just can't see the edges. He's back. Damn it. Nah, good enough. <laughs> Fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Yeah. On my way home, that's 
Deanna Miller finally caught a break. Has finally caught a break. <laughs> they managed to save up enough money to take their family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Deanna in paradise turns into a nightmare and over their cotton thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water, desperate to get out of the harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspense, mystical, and absolutely terrifying. How can we pull you in? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's weird. That guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Check good job, bro. Uh, is, this, is this one of those? No, no, it's an award or something. I thought it was one of those pens. If I have a pen, like, is it like magnetic and it like sticks out? I don't know. Oops. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Reminds me of the system from like the screen a little bit. 
It's a camera lens. Okay. <laughs> and then this is another camera lens that I did not pick up properly. Cinema variety. Oh, cinema variety. The ultimate movie that can tell me what the anime better than ever, but bigger than ever. Stunts versus CGI with a bottle. I don't know what a bottle would be as either. Oh, that's cool. That's a free coil, too. We draw this up Theater and stuff like that. Can you say it was going to be a uh, winter summer soon now? I don't know. I don't know if it's in this, but whatever. Can I pick up that? I can. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Thanks. Aw, oh, dang it. Common girl. Homebound. That's why we're bringing the. Xenophobia on the rise. As Toronto's population grows, find out how expansion in the world inner city tension. Not on the back page. I guess this is the xenophobia thing. I can't read one of these. Wait, 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 wait. Why is that going to be well with you? Now I'm trying to act against the young woman who's not going to be today. The dark is directed by the children who ran a red light cost with a blind side of the car at the intersection of Floor Street and Scalino Road. The mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV with lucky crews but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. The car crashed in the passenger side after the call. The only three sustained. Oh! Simon Chick, I, I read a little bit ahead, but Ashley Hall sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs as the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived with complicated results of beliefs, believed him with permanent brain damage. Whenever the ACP is damaged by the really special leads with an accident, practically unavoidable. So, we were in a car crash. I don't know if it was us driving. Oh wait, I think it said that we were driving. So we were in a car crash, and the lady that was with us was checking her phone or something, and she died with something with her. She suffocated because there was blood in her lungs, so she's fucked. But he survived, but something hit us in the head, and it's brain damage, or something along those lines. I don't know. Uh, it's really hot in my room because when I record, I, uh, I leave the air conditioner off. So it makes the room really loud, I guess. And so there's just like, instead of you guys here, you have to see me sweating like a motherfucker. Sorry. <laughs> uh, is there anything else I can read? No. That. Uh, I read that. Uh, I'm not supposed to be able to read that. I guess he is a fan of this Robert McConnell movie. Or guy, I don't know. And then those are, I guess those are his legs, maybe? Somebody's legs. Shut up, folks. Oh, that's him and I guess that Robert McConnell lady. Maybe that was the girlfriend who died. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be. On the computer, then. Hidden mm -hmm. machine aerograph session. Thank you again for participating in our research. Today I'll be performing the lace in a pace laboratory in Toronto. This is the guest of our access is a little unpredictable. I'll try to schedule a stand session from Saturday. I'll get back to you when you're done. Sincerely, Dave Uh, and, 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 Okay. 
I have a cure. You've had headaches from less frequent. Your legs pass through your brain slowly recovered, but it's still too early to tell how well it'll adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months and leave you more beat up. You need to shift over to the hospital to try to drain the, to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up the pressure. Since excessive stress would be fatal, I've written you a prescription for Brazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I'll see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Gary. And then left the graph, I guess. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Ah, that makes sense. Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I.e., I'm not coming into work. Which means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're still they are, and they are trying to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck, you'll need it. Simon. Okay, so I assume this Simon guy works at... Oh, I should probably hit set. Yes. Sweet, okay. But better uh, late than never. I assume this Simon guy works at this grimoire place, so that's why he has such an obsession with books. And he works with this Jesse guy. Watch the slide. Kinda. It's it's actually got a lot of weight. Camera, some books. Oh, uh, it looks like that's a book on the thing. It's got a lot of books. This guy works at this bookstore with this other guy, and he's a fan of the author, so he invited her to have a book signing. She accepted. He got a picture with her and sort of just like, I guess, met his idol or something. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. <laughs> Thank you, brain. Massive recoil. Is that supposed to be a uh, John Hughes crop top? Life is, one day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner. He's kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Ready? Get ready to go rogue. It's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces in the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. I want to say that's a reference to Total Recall, but I, I know that's wrong. Oh, now I can light up the room. And of course, gotta have the particles. Yellow. Also, bathroom. Nice window. That lens flare. Not the greatest of lens flares, no god rays. Uh, that's weird, I have to push up to push it down. I had to push right to actually. Oh, that's the There it is. GAD Dutan 755 for MRI and other nuclear con. Oh, okay, for the MRIs and I guess nuclear con. Would that be an x ray? That's an x ray. Oh no. It's all animated and shit. Sweet. It feels like milk, but the taste, it's like sucking on a penny. Thank you! Somebody knows how it feels. Oh, and we got water. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything? Oh. Shower. Eh. Not the best shower. He does have a pretty decently nice car. Thank you. 